Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to explore another problem and solve it using simultaneous equations. The problem we're given is Cindy's mother is eight times as old as Cindy is. In three years' time, she will be five times Cindy's age. And use simultaneous equations to determine their present ages. So the first thing we need to do is to represent Cindy's mother's age and Cindy's age in terms of x and y so we can solve them. So let's do that. I'm going to let let y equals mother's age and I'm going to let x equal Cindy's age. Now we need to formulate some uh, equations to be able to help us solve this problem. Uh, we need to actually formulate two simultaneous equations to help us solve this problem. The um, first equation will be actually quite simple because we're given here that Cindy's mother is eight times as old as Cindy is. So our first equation will simply be y, Cindy's mother's age, is equal to 8x, which is Cindy's age. To formulate equation 2 is a little bit more tricky because we have to realise that uh, in three years' time, uh, both Cindy and Cindy's mother will be three years older than their present ages, obviously. So that stated uh, would be in three years time Cindy's mother will be y plus three years old and Cindy will be x plus three years old but we're also given that um, Cindy is five times, well Cindy's mother is five times older than Cindy in uh, three years time so Cindy's age will have to be increased by a factor of 5 to equal her mother's age. So now working through this, expanding this brackets, we'll get 5x plus 15. The left hand side remains the same, y plus 3. Now I want to get y on its own so that we can, um, it'll be easier to work with and uh, the way we're going to do that is to subtract 3 from both sides of this equation. So we're going to be left with y because 3 minus 3 is 0. y is equal to 5x plus 15 minus 3 and we're going to be left with y is equal to 5x plus 12. So this is going to be our, I'm going to call this equation 2. And now it's just a matter of using the method of substitution to solve for either variable. Uh, I'm going to just solve for Cindy's uh, age first. So we have an expression here, y is equal to 8x. And I'm just going to substitute that into equation 2. So, uh, bringing the problem up to the right hand side of the page, we have 8x is equal to 5x plus 12. Our next step is to get all the x's on, all the x's on one side and uh, leave us just with numbers on the other side. So. I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides of this equation. So 8x minus 5x is equal to... So 5 minus 5x gives us 0 and we're left with 12. And 8x minus 5x will give us 3x. Okay, finally, to solve just for x, I'm going to, dis I'm going to divide both sides of this expression by 3. So 3x divided by 3 gives us, gives us x 
and 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So we found that Cindy's current age is equal to 4 years old. And now all we need to do is to substitute this solution back into one of our original equations to find the answer. Uh, the easiest one to work with is going to be equation 1. So I'm just going to put our solution back into here. So y is equal to 8 times 4, which is equal to 32. So our solution for Cindy's mother's current age is 32 years of age. So there you go. We have um, explored using simultaneous equations to solve another simple real world problem. Thanks for watching. Please ask me any questions if you're having trouble with your maths by commenting below and uh, I'll endeavour to answer them on future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.